In this video, we're going to take a look at how to paint the banner from the new Bladeguard Ancient model that's found in the Indomitus box set for the new edition of 40k. So we're going to cover how to paint the bone, the gold, the other metals and the purity seals. Over a black primer, I'm going to base coat all the gold areas with scale 75 Necro Gold. This paint's really nice to use with a brush. I barely thinned it, just put it on the wet palette, but I will need to do a couple of coats to get a nice solid base coat. Next, I take some scale 75 decayed metal and thin this down quite a lot. I want to use this as a glaze, so I'm just gonna add water until I get the consistency I want. I take the scale 75 decayed metal and I begin to brush it into the areas that I want to create shadow. So I'm always drawing my brush towards the shadow you can see the paint being deposited and just work your way around the banner slowly. The paint's always going to dry the more opaque than it goes on, so give it time before you decide if it needs another coat to make it darker. If I wanted, I could have used a flat brown paint for this instead, something like Rhinox Hide. But the decayed metal's still got a little bit of that flake in it and it's really easy to glaze with these scale paints. I think I went for about three passes on this model. And I'm being quite deliberate with where I'm putting the paint. This isn't like doing a wash. If we turn him round, you can see where those shadows are. On this top bit as well, I'm just taking a slightly thicker consistency of this decayed metal, and just painting in the underside of the spikes. For a highlight, I'm going to use Scale 75 Peridot Alchemy. It's a really, really light, sort of green, gold, metallic paint. And partly because I've painted this on a Dark Angels model, but also just to get a sort of old gold feel, I've tried to use a lot of green tones. And I'm just going to hit the brightest areas of highlight. So along the edges and those points that would catch and reflect the light. Continuing the green theme, I'm going to take Scale 75 Fantasy Games Despair Green and thin this right down. Now I am going to wash it all over the model. You don't need any additives or anything for a wash that's this thin. Just thin it down loads with water, get it on your brush and slop it on. And if you do get too much in any one area, quickly wick it up on your brush. Wipe off the excess and keep going. I'm going to base coat the other areas of metal that I want to be a sort of steel colour in Metal Colour Series Steel. It paints amazingly with the brush and as I've said in other videos you might want to put it on a plastic palette rather than a wet palette. With that done it's time to take on the skeleton. And to begin with, I'm going to give it a base coat of Vallejo Model Colour US Olive Drab. So it's a nice sort of green-brown colour. It should give us a great base to work from, this sort of ancient reliquary style bone. And I'm covering all of the black with this. It's got great coverage, but there's no need to slop it on too thick. If you need to do it in a couple of layers, that's absolutely fine. As a first highlight, I'm going to mix a little bit of GW Karak Stone 
into the US olive drab. And with this, I'm probably going to cover up to 80% of the previous area, just leaving the pure olive drab in the darkest recesses. I like approaching bone colours like this, rather than starting really bright and washing down. For our next highlight, I'm adding in more Carrack Stone. Sorry this image is a little blurry, I didn't spot it till post, so we'll whiz through it. As you can see, I'm covering probably 50 to 60% of the previous area. And now I'm starting to focus on where my light source is coming from. In this case, the top right. And our final highlight is pure Carrack Stone. This is just on those most raised areas. Make sure we get his gnashes. Here I make up a mix of Sansador Thinner and Winsor & Newton Artist Oil Colours Burnt Umber. So it's a brown oil wash. Make sure it's thoroughly mixed in. Now I'm going to take this brown and just wash it over all of the steel colour that we put on earlier. It's absolutely fine putting this over the acrylic paint without any varnish or anything. Just need to make sure that, that acrylic paint layer is dry. Now I take Abtolung 502 green grass, or any green oil paint will do, and mix this into the burnt umber mix. This is going to give us this really dirty, horrible, just nasty old looking colour. And we're going to wash this all over the bone. And if you've ever looked at reference pictures of really, really old relic type bone, you'll notice it's got this shine to it and this strange patina. This is what we're trying to achieve here. This isn't some left out in the sun bleached skeleton. For the purity seals, I'm base coating them with GW Barak Nar Burgundy. I've become a really big fan of this paint. Really like the colour. And to highlight this up, I've just added a drop of Vallejo model colour pale blue. Mix a little bit in. Then for the final highlight, I just mix in a little bit more of the pale blue. Nice and simple. Next, I take the pale blue and I base coat all the paper parts of the purity seal with it. It's got excellent coverage. The reason I've chosen this as the colour for the paper has partly been influenced by how much bone colour I've got on the rest of the model. To do the text on the seals, I take Vallejo model colour black and I add a couple of drops of glaze medium to it. It's going to prolong the working time. And on a stubby brush with a good point, in real time you can see here, just work across, gently pressing against the purity seal, little squiggles and you can create some pretty convincing looking text. And so you can easily work with the paint that's on the brush to fill in an entire ream of the paper. This is really helpful. It's not drying on the tip or anything, so you could use something like drying retarder instead and just add glaze medium to hand. That's two done now without having to go back to the palette. I take some more Sansador thinner and this time I'm adding in an enamel wash, an AK panel liner for grey and blue camouflage. And 
With this, I'm going to apply a heavy wash to those purity seals. Probably, I don't know, two or three coats of this. Some finishing touches. Take some Vallejo Model Air Steel and just hit those brightest edges of my silver metal colours where the corrosion hasn't really taken place and it's still reflecting the light a little bit. And for the gold, I'm going to do exactly the same. But rather than the silver, I'll take some Peridot Alchemy again. Just hit any areas I might have missed before. Or I may have rubbed off when I've been handling it as I'm painting it. There's the banner done. I hope you've enjoyed this slightly longer video and that you can also see that these various recipes and techniques are applicable to all sorts of painting projects you might have on. I really like this gnarly, dark, aged sort of bone effect that we've got. I think it's a lot more interesting than that really stark, bright bleach bone colour. If you have enjoyed the video, then hit the like button. And hit subscribe as well to make sure you don't miss out on any more in the future. We've really enjoyed all the comments we've been getting recently on the videos, and if there's anything you'd like us to cover, make sure to let us know. We really appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.